second opposition mainly comes from people that don't understand me, us, who we are and what we do and what we want to do. Uh, I think that, you know, a lot of people are, are fear what they don't understand and that's certainly what I get from a lot of other undergraduates at the campus. Um, personally I don't understand it, we're all, we're all here, we're all doing what we want to do and we're just trying to get a better lives for ourselves than what we would have had at the bottom of the ocean. So are you going to write a book about it? Well, I hope one day to do a thesis when I'm Grand Vizier. And then who knows, I might find the, the lamp. And then I'll write a thesis on that. Sounds boring. Mm. All right, get some footage Fine of me now. turning into a giant snake. <laughs> we'll see how snake-like I can be. No, you're doing it in front of people who are just standing there. I'm still working on it. Still working on it. It's not coming off at the moment, but it will. How long? Please tell me it's for Halloween. See, that's the kind of bad press we get. Everyone assumes it's a Halloween act. Nobody seems to be able to accept that I'm a genuine evil villain. Oh no, I can accept that. Just please tell me the costume's for Halloween. Talk to the snake star. <laughs> so currently I'm doing a course called uh, Undergraduate Studies of Animal Sidekicks. I'm training a parrot called Iago. It's coming up pretty well, actually. I'll make sure he disappears later. LATF Rage Dog. Look really unimpressed with us. Looking pissed off. You like to turn me you into a prawn, darling? Can you just be like, what the fuck is that? It won't cost much. Just get What are those fuckwits doing? What are those fuckwits doing? What? L-A-T-F-H! Well the dam here is, I'm not quite used to working on such a small scale but due to me being an undergraduate I've had to make do with what I've got. There's no Atlantic Ocean. Right, and I challenge you. Come from these waters and meet your match. But there are still some creatures that I've, I've coerced into doing my bidding for me. Gary. I did have Gary, the goose. It is now gone, but I still have an assortment of ducks and water birds. Um, and I do hear that there are eels in there that I will catching up with for a coffee later. You poor unfortunate soul. I really know what else to do. Uh, well, look, I mean, everybody has every right to study at the university. <laughs> They're in my uh, animal studies class. <laughs> <laughs> They're training a parrot as well. I think it's a really good step forward in uh, relations between evil supervillains and you know your lay people, the common folk. I, I think it's very important that we have this degree, and I'm really proud of the University of Newcastle for offering it. I think it's an excellent step forward. Excellent step forward. People need to learn somewhere how to be able to cast spells effectively. I mean, they talk up venues like Hogwarts, but last time I checked, you can't even attend that place. It's in the United Kingdom. It's good for Australia to be finally offering something. And, and I think it demonstrates a remarkable tolerance and acceptance of a diversity of people. I think that's really important. I think in a society that is egalitarian, that believes in a fair go like Australia does, I think a Bachelor of Evil is just such an important step forward. I think it'll also help with Aboriginal reconciliation. The tolerance, the acceptance, not the evil, necessarily. I mean, I don't know. I understand witch doctors can be a bit... 